Hey Shuby Doodlers, how are you doing? Well, the post has just arrived and I've got this from Rosemary & Co who make brushes. And do you know, I'd never heard of them before until Inika Dusselji commented on my recent how to draw and paint like Beatrix Potter video. Click here <laughs> to see that and said, next time try Rosemary brushes. So I looked up Rosemary brushes and I discovered that they had a catalogue. In fact, Inika says, Shu Rainer, I love them. The catalogue shows them the same size they are. If you want different handles, they make them for you. No extra charge. Enjoy. Well, I thought I'd have to go and have a look. So I got on their website and sure enough, they sent me a catalogue. I think they'll send it all around the world. And uh, so I'm going to have a really good look through this. So here we are. Let's open it up and bring out the catalogue. Rosemary & Co. Finest Quality Handmade Artist Brushes. I believe my passion for art reflects in the quality of products and service I offer. I have loved and lived art all my adult life and so art is my way of life. And I think this is Rosemary, <laughs> a real person. And sure enough, look, here they are. Full size for you to have a look at. And I don't know if you're like me, but I go into an art shop and I freeze. <laughs> I look at the brushes and go, Ugh. and in fact, pure red sables and things like that, they would quite often keep behind the counter. Uh, so, uh, and then, you know, you need a little pot of water to try them out and that kind of thing. And it, so, uh, so it's really good to sort of look at these things. It's also made me think, you know, I've been using this um, really cheap um, sort of plastic nylon water brush for quite a while now and I do a lot in my sketchbook and stuff like that and I got really used to this brush which is completely different to the kind of brushes that I used to use which were kind of more like this <laughs> I think and they may be more like that and and I realize now no one ever taught me how to paint I taught myself <laughs> and we didn't have YouTube uh, when I was younger so there was nobody to look at and nobody to uh, <laughs> copy. So when I was at art school, in theory, they would have taught me, but no, they don't teach you watercolour. It's kind of, get on with it. <laughs> so, um, so yeah, watching things on YouTube is really interesting. And I, the thing I've really learned was before, I used to kind of paint really, really fine detail. It wasn't really painting. It was kind of colouring in, and the brush had nothing to do with it. The, or, or the texture of the brush in the brush stroke. So you can see here, this is a definite brush stroke going on. And since I've been using this, I've been learning more and more and more to, to trust the brush and let it do certain strokes. And, and I'm now realizing that these are the brushes which, if ever I've used them before, it's just to kind of slap on a load of water quickly. I now realize that they actually have uses <laughs> and that you can, um, you know, get square brush marks and different things like that. So I think it's time for me to kind of do a bit of experimenting um, and, and have a go and do some new things. So I'm going to sit here and look at all these brushes and decide quite what to do. Obviously, I've always used pure red sable because that's what we were always well, no, we weren't told at, at art college at all, but it's a kind of a thing, you know, you've got to have pure red sable. And and I remember that having tried out synthetics, um, you know, sort of, well, I mean, this one is synthetic. So, you know, synthetics are really quite good now. Um, and and so, yeah, I think it's tight. Look, you see here, filberts, you see, they're kind of chopped. You see, you get different brush strokes and all sorts of things. So I think it's time for me to do a little bit of experimenting with brushes and see see what happens. Look here, tree and brush texture. <laughs> I think I need to go and learn something about watercolour, even though I'm teaching you about watercolour. As they say, a teacher only has to be a day ahead of their students. <laughs> Is that cheating or what? I don't know. So, um, yeah, that's what I'm going to do. And if you're interested, this looks like, I think this must be rosemary. And um, so go and look at rosemary.com, is it? Rosemaryandco.com or, yeah. And uh, have a look at their website and they'll maybe even send you your own catalogue. So you can go, ooh, and ah. And what's really nice, as Inika said, is that they are actual sort of same size. So you can really kind of see what it is that you're getting. And looking at the prices, I think they look really very competitive. So, let's see how we go. Look, oh, oh, 
I'm away. I'm enjoying myself here. Oh, look, little paint boxes. There's all sorts of stuff. Fantastic. I'm going to enjoy myself. I'm going to take this to bed and read it tonight. Mm -hmm.